All right, so we actually walked down to the creek here. I want to show you something. Maybe you've seen these before, maybe you haven't. Can you hear that noise? I don't know if you can hear that or not, but... Do you guys know what that is? That is a juvenile salmon monitoring trap. And basically, this is a salmon bearing stream. The salmon come up from the ocean and go up and lay their eggs. And when the eggs hatch, the babies, the juveniles, swim downstream toward the main channel. And a certain percentage of them get caught up in that screen there. And they get put, they go in there, they get pushed back to a little holding tank in the back. I've actually been out on those um, when when the uh, the fish and wildlife people uh, were checking the trap and they let me come aboard and they showed me what they're doing. It's pretty cool, and this is the time of year they do that because the baby salmon are starting. Well, yeah, I guess they're they're hatching now from the summer run, and um, it's pretty interesting. The salmon so far has been not very good where I live, but anyways, we're gonna go that way. I just wanted to show you guys that in case you've never seen that before. Alright, so I got a target here. It's reading real steady 7980. Is it a gold coin? No, it's just reading 80 the closer I get to it. I wish it was a gold coin. Gold and I already, I already uncovered it. I'll show it. You tell me what you think this is. Okay, that's interesting. So do you guys know what that is? That, I believe, it's all broke, is a beer barrel spigot. Or a barrel spigot. So this end is missing, and that would be the part that goes into the barrel. And then you have the valve up here that you turn to have your golden goodness come out. Or water, or whatever they were... Whatever they used it for. That's a cool old historic find. Looks like it's made out of brass. Well, guys, you know what that means? It's from a barrel and gold coins. Could be close by. Definitely shows that there are humans here. All right, I'll see you in the next hole. I came down here to this little creek area that's dried up. It's probably an overflow. And I got a signal here. I was reading like 99, and I dug it, and it was probably four or five inches deep, and look, look what I got. Can you tell what it is? Look at that, that's an old spoon. Yeah, it's an old spoon, that's an old time spoon, look at how thin that is. Old tin, I don't see any markings on it, but it's getting dark, so I'm going to carefully put that in my bag where it's not going to get messed up, and I'll clean it up when I get home, see if there's any hallmarks on it. That is cool. That's definitely from the mining days. Alright, I'll see you on the next one. Okay, so I went up on this little hill above this little road. And there's actually a little trail down there that's lined with rocks that goes into this briar. So I, I suspect that it's an old trail. How old, I don't know. So I'm getting the signal. 85 to 87 says it's about two inches down so we just found that old spoon so let me go ahead and dig this up and I'll show you what it is it wasn't anything too exciting it's uh, what do you call that the little the deal a door latches into on the frame I, uh, the name is slipped my mind a uh, faceplate like a faceplate for the lock locks into Alright, on we go. Alright guys, well we are home. And we actually found these two cool items. I wasn't really expecting to find anything this cool. Um, just on the half hour that we had out tonight. But um, I think these are pretty cool. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. If you think these are cool finds or if these are just junk to you. I think they're cool. Anyways, you can see I hit it with my pick, the spoon. And that is an old spoon. I mean, look at how thin this puppy is. 
I don't see any hallmarks on it, any markings whatsoever because it's so corroded. And I don't want to straighten the handle out. Somehow this thing got bent over, probably, I'm assuming, in the creek. But I don't know. And uh, I, I know I can tell if I, if I straighten this out, it's going to break right here. Because, I, you know, I, I put a little pressure on it and it, tur it instantly turned white change color right right here on the corner so I know if I try to straighten it out the things just snap right off I'm just gonna throw this in my display case because I like it and then the barrel tap it's packed full of rock and gravel sand that should be hollow through there and through here obviously but that's a pretty cool little find too Dates back to the gold rush, I'm sure. And then the junk I found, found this light bulb. I don't know how that got out there. And then a little bottle top. 3030 cartridge. A bolt. Pop top. I think that's a 22250 cartridge. Yeah, it's a 22250 cartridge. Somebody's out there shooting something. A uh, piece of old loom can. Just a typical junk. Another little screw. Bottle top, pop top, or a twist top. And then a bullet. And I think that's a chunk of lead. And this can here. This can doesn't look to be too old. Like Vienna sausages, I'm assuming. And, oh, and then the door. The threshold, what do they call this? Uh, I forget, I can't remember. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much all I found today. But these two items here, like the lead, I always save the lead. The lead goes in my, my uh, lead melter for when I make fishing weights. Since I do quite a bit of fishing. So the lead will go in the melting pot. I'll put these two items in my display case. I cleaned them up. This one could probably use a bit of a soaking, but we don't want it looking like new. I appreciate everyone watching. Leave a comment, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.